Hey everybody, Ricky to Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from Santa Anita Park, Arcadia, California on Saturday afternoon, October the 22nd, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle Southern California Racing Report. Let's take a look at the Race 3 feature this afternoon, folks, 2.04 p.m. Pacific Post Time. This is the Anaoki Stakes, six furlongs on the dirt, two-year-old fillies, race for $65,000. Contenders number four, Sister Moon. Number one is many. Number three, Lasso from El Paso. And number six, Lady Pecan. Number four, Sister Moon will enjoy a speed advantage on this field today as the pace profile leader comes off a power run win to break her maiden in her first asking, facing, facing slightly better company in that race than she'll face here in the feature today. Jockey Joel Rosario was in her irons for that win, which produced a positive 180% return on investment in the process. Rosario is back today for her second ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number one is Mimi. 4-1 to one in the morning line, also has a nice pace profile, and like my top pick, comes off a maiden breaking power run win in her respective first asking. Race 3 summary, number 4, Sister Moon, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 1, Ismeni, number 3, Lasso from El Paso, and a number 6, Lady Pecan, 4 one, three, six, and a third from Santa Anita Park, the $65,000 and Okia Stakes. Bonus long shots, Parks Racing, Ben Salem, PA. Race number nine, entry number five, Rum Diary, 4 to 1 on the morning line. Has hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five starts. Charlestown, race six, the five to one shot. Number three, Bernard Terrace, a track master plus power pony qualifier, drops in class by six units. Nice overall speed for this four and one half for a long sprint. So from Santa Anita Park on a Saturday afternoon, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.